Stay tuned for another edition of Mail Call. Yo lip, yo lip, yo lip, right or left. Alrighty, my buddy Lewis Mad Max has sent me a email, wanting me to do a mail call. So uh, I will not only touch on his email, but I'll probably also expound. <coughs> mm, excuse me, time permitting. Uh, a little bit on my beliefs regarding the reptiles and that sort of thing. And I probably will end up doing a separate video on that as well anyway. But uh, I may touch on that here, time permitting. Evil must be punished. Alrighty. Um, Lewis Mad Max uh, send, sent me a video. Let me bring it up properly here. Uh, describe to me your thoughts on Ezekiel 116 in the Bible. Is it a dream or was he abducted by aliens? I always use this in Christianity to show that aliens do exist. Can you provide any more intelligent thought on this, my friend? Thank you, Lewis. Um, well, I happen to have it right here in front of me, the book of Ezekiel. Uh, now, I came to pass in the thirteenth year in the fourth month, on the fifth day of the month, as I was among the captives by the river Chebar, that the heavens were opened, and I saw visions of God. So, okay, no, he was not abducted. Um, he was not um, uh, assuaged by by anything. They came. They came down to him. He saw them. Uh, then I looked, and and I'm skip. I'm skipping through this for time. Uh, then I looked, and behold, a whirlwind was coming out of the north, a great cloud with raging fire engulfing itself. And brightness was all around it, and radiating out of its mist like the color of amber out of the midst of the fire. UFO? Quite possibly. Also from within it came the likeness of four living creatures, and this was their appearance. They had the likeness of a man. Each one had four faces, and each one had four wings. Um, I would point out that it's entirely possible these are the four beasts that are around the throne of God because then he goes on to describe what he sees. Um, let me find it here. Um, <laughs> now as I looked at the living creatures, behold, a wheel was on the earth beside each living creature with its four faces. The appearance of the wheels and their workings was like unto the color of beryl. And all four had the same likeness. The appearance of their workings was, as it were, a wheel in the middle of a wheel. And when they moved, they went towards one of any four directions. They did not turn aside when they went. As for their rims, they were so high they were awesome. <laughs> Can you imagine the Bible using the word awesome? They were so high they were awesome, and their rims were full of eyes all around the four of them. Okay, well now this could be uh, inhabitants, this of the of the craft it could also be lights uh, remember we're trying to explain something of technology even beyond the 21st century to someone who wasn't even in the first century yet okay uh, okay when those went these went when those stood these stood and those were lifted up from the earth, the wheels were lifted up together with them. Uh huh. The, okay. Let's see. Okay, here we go. When they went, I heard the noise of the wings, like the noise of many waters, like the voice of the Almighty, a tumult, like the noise of an army. And when they stood still, they let down their wings. A voice came from above the firmament that was over their heads whenever they stood, and they let down their wings. And above the firmament over their heads was as the likeness of a throne, an appearance like a sapphire stone. On the likeness of the throne was a likeness of the appearance of a man high above it. Also from the appearance of his waist upward I saw as it were the color of amber with the appearance of fire all around from within it. And from the appearance of his waist and downward I saw, as it were, the appearance of fire with brightness all around. Like the appearance of a rainbow in a cloud on a rainy day, so was the appearance of the brightness all around it. This was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. 
So when I saw it, I fell on my face, and I heard a voice as of one speaking. And he said to me, Son of man, stand to your feet, and I will speak to you. Then the Spirit of the Lord entered me when he spoke to me, and set me on my feet, and I heard him who spoke to me. So, so this is this is um, this is not the this is not the greys or the reptiles, obviously. For my ally is the Force, and the powerful ally it is. Life creates it, makes it grow. Its energy surrounds us, combines us. Luminous beings are we, not this crude matter. You must feel the force around you, here, between you, me, the tree, the rock, everywhere. Yes, even between the land and the ship. This is our God, our real God. The light beings, as I call them. All right. Um, and this is something that I want to touch on later in more detail if I can, but to give you a gist of it, um, we are luminous creatures, like Yoda said in the movie. We're luminous creatures. Um, you know, we're beings of light. Okay, Th this, this body, this body is not us, okay? We are us. Uh, our essence is us, okay? Not these bodies. That's why I get a chuckle. I get a chuckle out of some of these people. Say, well, is God black? Is God yellow? Is God a red man? No. God is pure light, pure energy, pure love. God is a, is a light creature. He's a, a being of, of intense power. Uh... He makes the reptiles and the and 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 the grays technology looks look like cavemen. Okay, the the technology of the light beings is just so far and above anything else that it's it, there's just no comparison. Okay, they are our real creators. Uh, the reptiles messed with our DNA, but they are not our creators. And this is where I differentiate myself between Sitchin and Icky, Icky, Icky or Ike, however you pronounce it. I guess in Britain you would pronounce it Ike, but here in America a lot of us pronounce it Icky. I, you know, same guy, David Icky. But um, uh, we're, we're, those are our creators. The light beings are, cre are our creators, our real creators, not the reptiles. You know, the greys are going around here, and I, I just read a report Somebody sent me an email with a report that was uh, given by the Greys called the Zeta Files or some crap. It's a Grey speak. Um, it's a woman speaking. You, uh, the Greys are speaking through this woman, and she's writing it all down and shit. And the Greys are the emissaries of the reptiles who are coming from Nibiru, supposedly. Or it could be the reptiles already here underneath the earth. Doesn't matter. But. In any event, <clears throat> no, no, the greys, uh, the greys or the reptiles, you notice that this is neither one of them. This is a being of pure energy, pure light, all right? And he has kind of a form of a man, he says.